Hey, good morning. Good morning. It's Reggie Pegues here, prosperingdad.com. And it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday, guys. We've made it halfway through the week. I hope you're having a great week. I just hope that everything that you are striving for, reaching for, that it's within your grasp, that you're making plans to, to obtain it, that you are just doing the things that you need to do. Good morning, Felisa. Thank you for joining. I think you're a first-time viewer. I just hope that you guys are just doing what it's what's necessary to have the, you know, be, do, and have, as, as it says in the Bible. I hope that you're doing the things so you can be who you want to be, so you can have the things that you want to have, so you can do the things that you want to do. As always, guys, if you're watching me on YouTube, we're now over here on Facebook Live. So as you come on, Felicia, drop in the comments. Let me know where you're from. I don't know exactly where you're, where you're from, and I want to know where you're viewing me from. So, guys, as you come on, drop in the comments and let me know where you are viewing me from. Also, drop in the comments, hashtag live, to let me know that you're watching me live or if you're watching the replay. Okay, as you guys can see in the title today, we're going to talk about the one thing you need to change about you. The one thing you need to change about you. So let me ask you this. How do you see yourself? How do you see yourself? Now, it's been my experience, a lot of people don't think about this question. Why? Because we get into our routines, we get into conformity, we get into our habits, we get into, I get up in the morning, I do my routine, I possibly take my kids to school, then I rush to this job, and I work eight hours a day, I trade my valuable time for a paycheck, and I, I work these eight hours a day, and then, um, you know, I go home and, you know, go to bed, get up, and I do it again, Okay. But how do you see yourself? When you look in the mirror, what do you see? Do you see how great you are? Do you see potential? Do you see possibility? Do you see abundance? Well, guys, I'm going to share a quick story. I didn't always see that in myself. Because as we develop and we grow, we can allow people to inject their negativity on us, which can distort our own personal perception of ourselves. You know, somebody, you know, when you were younger, somebody might have said that you were ugly. Or somebody might have called you fat. Or they might have said something that was hurtful. It might have been your parents. It might have been a school teacher. It might have been a coach. It might have been uh, someone at your church. It might have been someone that you looked up to. It might have been your brother or your sister or your cousin or your auntie or your uncle. But here's the thing. The only thing that matters is what you think about you. The only thing that matters is that you see yourself as God sees you. And God sees you as perfect. He sees you as a work of art. He sees you as a masterpiece. So a lot of us are walking around and our vision is blurred. We don't have a good perception of ourselves. We, we, they, we call it self-esteem. We have poor self-esteem. We don't stand up. We don't think that we have value. We don't think that we have something to contribute. We don't think that we have a purpose, but you do. So what do you see? What do you see when you look at yourself? What do you think about yourself? Are you allowing outside forces to make you feel less than who you are? Are you letting outside influences write your narrative in terms of who you are and what you can have and who you can be? Are you allowing that? But I, it's not over. If you're doing that, I want you to understand something. It's not over. It's not the final chapter of your book. Here's the great thing. Here's what's really cool. You get to write your own story. You get to star in your own movie. You get to, um, you know, be the hero in your own story. Guys, if you're getting any value, let me get some thumbs right here or drop the word value. Drop value in the comments right now. Okay. 
So if you have that power where you get to write your own story and you get to you get to define the characters, meaning the people who are in your life, the people who will show up in your life, the people who will help you. If you don't like the script, here's the great thing about the script in our lives. If you don't like the script, you have the power to rewrite it. You have the power to change it. You can be whatever it is. I want you to understand the only limits that that you have are the limits that you place on yourself. So what's the one thing that you need to change about you? Today, you need to figure that out. What is the one thing that I need to change about me? What is the thing that I have to do? I'll share a quick story. I always wanted to be an entrepreneur. I always wanted to be in business. I saw early on as a kid that, you know, working a job, I watched my father and my mother work themselves to old age and actually to death. And I said, that's not what I wanted to do. And then how much it, you know, I wanted to, to, to engage with my father, but at the end of the day, because he worked so hard that he just had no energy left. And I realized, I said, that's not the kind of relationship and that's not the thing that I wanted to offer my own children. So I would say that I wanted to be in business, that I wanted to be an entrepreneur, but not that, see, I understand our family wants to protect us, but sometimes the things that they're trying to do and the things that they say to us, where they think that they're protecting us is actually very hurtful and damaging. The worst thing that you can tell a child is, is that they can't be something when there's nothing but possibility and, a, and opportunity and abundance all around them and each and every one of us. And that's one of the problems. We don't realize that we have so much possibility. There's so much abundance, but because of conformity, because we're following the script, because we're doing what everybody else is doing, we don't embrace it. We don't grab it. We don't take charge of ourselves. We don't take responsibility. Hey, good morning, Anna. Good morning. Type in the comments and let me know where you're from. Um, and, you know, also type in live. If you're watching live, type in replay, guys. As you come on, type in the comments. Let me know where you're watching me from. Type in and let me know if you're watching live or you're watching a replay. Okay? So, we can have to take 100% responsibility of self. I've been, I've, you know, I've been sharing this in this You Are Worthy series and, and on these broadcasts. You guys are worthy. I want you to understand that. If no one is telling you that, you got to tell yourself you're worthy. I'm worthy to have the life that I want. I'm worthy to have the outcomes that I want. I'm worthy to, to be able to do what I want to do. I'm worthy of that. Why? Because... You are made in the image of the creator and he has given you this power to do so. But if you don't take it, if you don't take charge of it, if you don't act on it, if you don't move on it, it's not going to come to pass. But I want you to know it's not over. You can be better. You can be better. You can be better each and every day. You can be better. You can progress each and every day. You can start today. You can, you know, do an assessment of your life and look at, at what's going on with you and say, hey, listen, you know what? I have the power to change. If you want happiness in your life, you have the power to be happy. Happiness is a choice. So you got to make a choice. And the great thing about being in the human race is the fact that we have the ability to change our mind anytime we decide. Guys, if you're getting some value, drop value in the comments. Drop value in the comments for me if you're getting some value right now. So, it's not over. You can be better if you choose. But if you're expecting someone else to show up and be the hero in your story, you're going to be waiting a long time. You have to take charge. You have to write the narrative. You have to make the decisions. You have to own what it is that you're doing, good or bad. Are challenges going to come? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's part of the process. But it's not about the challenge. It's about what you do. It's about how you see it. It's about are you going to let it defeat you? Or are you going to use it as, as a catalyst? Are you going to use it as a stepping stone? Are you going to use it as motivation to move forward? You don't have to be stuck. 
See, even being stuck or feeling that you're, you're, you're less than or, or you're not enough, those are choices that you're making. When you see a challenge, are you looking at the problem or are you looking at, at the solution? I was talking to one of the young ladies that I mentored last night and I had to point that out to her because whenever she starts something, she starts with the problem. And she doesn't understand yet that the, the, the gravity and the weight of our words, our words, if you're not clear, our words have power, our words have energy. And what comes out of your mouth is what's going to come back to you. For example, if you say, if you say that I'm broke, then that energy is going to come back to you. But you can also say I am abundant, I am prosperous, and that energy will come to you. I'll give you a quick example. Because of my Facebook Lives, I have a new mentor now. And guess what? This guy is a multi-millionaire. I do my lives because I do it from my heart. I do it because I want to give. This is my, my spiritual tithing. This is my contribution to help somebody. Hoping that a word, something that I share can help to inspire and encourage someone else. But long story short, this gentleman reached out to me and I didn't know. I just thought he was somebody who liked my videos. He liked the content. He always complimented me. He always encouraged me and stuff. So one day he, he pulled me into a, a private conversation and we started sharing and he started exposing to me who he was and what he was and um, resources and, and things like that. And when I recognized that, and naturally I was able to confirm who he was. John Johnson, hey, my old, old friend. He and I grew up together. We were like the best backcourt ever to be seen in Queens. Good morning, man. Thank you for joining. So my mentor um, now has opened up doors for me that I expected to be open, but I'm grateful because he was able, hey, Doorbell, good to see you. I'm grateful because he has opened up opportunities and doors to me. And by his experience, he's created leverage for me where I can now move through these doors quicker and with more knowledge and with more using his experience and I can learn from him and I got when I have questions I can ask him. So why did that occur? I had to become who I needed to be. I had to change the one thing that I saw. I had to to to, to change my mindset. I had to see myself as that person. And I had to send that energy out and in return now these things are coming back to me. So what I realized is and I want you guys to get as I close is that the power to change is in your hand. The one thing you need to change is how you see yourself. How you see yourself. The power is in your hands. Guys, if you're getting some value, let me get some thumbs right here. I want it, I work off energy. Let me know that you that you're getting something out of this today. The power is in your hands, guys. It's in your hands. It's in your ability to change. It's in your ability to write your own narrative. It's in your, it's your, in your ability to take 100% control. Yes. Are there external things that you're going to have to go through? Yes. Are there challenges that you're going to have to go through? Yes. But here's the thing. You get to write your own story. You get to star in your own movie. And if you don't like the script, you get to change it. Okay. Guys, you're worthy. You're worthy to have the life that you want. You're worthy to, to, to do the things that you want to do. You're worthy, as the Bible says, to be, do, and have. Good morning, uh, Selena. Good morning. You're going to have to catch the, the replay. Type in the comments, Selena. Let me know where you're viewing me from. I love, I love watching people. I love to see where you're viewing me from. And at the end of, the, of my lives, I always go back and engage. So please let me know where you're viewing me from because I love, I, you know, I, there are people that follow me from all around the world and I love to know where you're viewing me from. If you're, if you're watching live, type live. If you're watching replay, type replay. But as I close, guys, you're worthy, as I said. You're worthy to be, do, and have. But... It starts with taking 100% responsibility. Is it going to be easy? No. Is it going to be a challenge? Yes. But I want you to think today, 
What's the one thing that you need to change about you so you can begin to have the life that you want to have each and every day? As always, guys, go over to my YouTube channel, Hollis, H-O-L-L-I-S-205 on YouTube. Like this video today. Like this video today. Like whatever videos that you watch on my channel. There's a lot of great content there. So please go over there and just, you know, watch other videos. If you've been not following this series, are you a worthy broadcast? You can go over there and you can catch replays over there. Like any video that you see there. If you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. So when I upload new content, you're the first to know. Hit the notification button right here so you can continue to follow me on our You Are Worthy series Mondays, Wednesdays, and Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I'm sorry, 10 a.m. Eastern, every week. Um, I'm going to be coming to you a little late on this Friday. My daughter has a field trip, so I'll be going on that with her. And that's the great thing of being working from home. I get to be and spend more time with her and go and do things with her and make money while I'm still doing it. Um, so again, hit the notification button so you know when I'm here. Like and share this message today because somebody you know needs this word today. Guys, as always, it's a pleasure to come before you each and every day. Hope you're having an outstanding Wednesday. It's the middle of the week. It's not hump day to a boss. You guys are all outstanding, amazing people, and I love you. Guys, have a great day, and I'll talk to you again on Friday. Be sure to like and share this video. Somebody needs it today. I'll talk to you soon.